nutrition in plants, symbiotic relationships. Did you know that organisms can live and work together? Sometimes these relationships can be very helpful to both. When two different kinds of organisms live together in a helpful way, we call it symbiosis. Symbiosis is a Greek word that means living together. Let us take a look at some symbiosis in plants. There is a certain special fungus that lives in the roots of trees. Now, most fungus causes diseases in plants. But this particular one that we are talking about is different. The fungus grows on the roots of the plant from the spores in the soil. As the fungus grows, it spreads deeper into the soil, far deeper than the roots can reach. Then the fungus takes in these minerals and gives it to the roots for the growth of the plant. In return, the plant provides it with carbohydrates. The plant benefits greatly because it could not have absorbed so many minerals with just its own roots. The fungus greatly benefits because it could not live without the carbohydrates that the plant provides. So, both the fungus and the plant are benefiting from each other. That's symbiosis. You know that there are some bacteria that live in the swollen nodules on the roots of some plants. These bacteria fix nitrogen from the air into the soil so that the plants can absorb it. So, plants benefit from this bacteria. The plant provides the carbohydrates that it synthesizes to the bacteria as food which lets it stay alive. So, the plant benefits from the bacteria and the bacteria benefits from the plant. Again, that's symbiosis. This bacteria is the special rhizobium bacteria. It lives in the roots of legumes such as gram, peas, moong, beans, etc. All our pulses, that is dals, are legumes too. Rhizobium fixes atmospheric nitrogen and the plant gives it food and shelter. This symbiosis is amazingly beneficial for farmers. Nitrogen fixing makes the soil fertile so crops grow better. So, farmers don't have to add too many fertilizers to the soil. Symbiosis is good, isn't it? There is a plant called blue-green algae which lives inside a fungus. The algae can make food by photosynthesis, the fungus cannot. So, the fungus benefits because of the algae in this way. The fungus provides protection to the algae and gathers moisture and nutrients from the environment. The fungus provides these things to the plant too. This fungus algae combination is called lichen. So both the fungus and the algae are benefiting from each other. That's symbiosis. What did we just learn? Sometimes two different organisms live together and help each other. This is called a symbiotic relationship. Lichens have algae and fungi living together in symbiosis. The algae makes food and fungus provides protection. Nitrogen fixing rhizobium bacteria live in the roots of legumes. Rhizobium fix atmospheric nitrogen and makes it available for the plant. The plant gives the rhizobium shelter and the carbohydrates that it synthesizes. Certain fungus live in the roots of some plants. The fungus spreads out and absorbs more minerals from the soil. The plant uses these minerals and in turn gives the fungus the carbohydrates it synthesizes.